Alright guys, so today I'm going to be talking about women's rights and women's movement and all of that crazy stuff. So I'm going to start off the video before the film project says it starts in um, the 1800s and before so. So to begin with, women used to stay home, they took care of families, they cooked, they cleaned the house, they did all of that stuff. They really didn't have jobs, they really didn't have rights or anything, they didn't do anything. They were just like the house made, pretty much. So in the 1800s, women wanted rights, so the women's suffrage started. Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth C. Stanton came along, tried to get women voting rights, and then after they were long gone in 1920, women got voting rights. The 19th Amendment came along and they confirmed it and they said, here you go. So that was a big outrage, like everyone was excited, yeah, women had voting rights, all this stuff. And then the World War came along, women were the only people around really because all the men were at war so they worked in the factories with them working in the factories Rosie the Riveter a cartoon was made and it pretty much showed women are tough women know how to work women do this women do that and they were just like everything they wanted like women can do what men can it's there's no problem um, it was just that kind of stuff. So that came along, and yes, there was problems with that, with sexual harassment as well, because even though most men were at war, there were still like the men that owned the factories. So sexual harassment was a big thing, um, unequal pay with the men. And then with that being said, the second wave of feminism came along. 1960s, they wanted more rights. They wanted abortion rights, they wanted equal pay, they wanted property, and they also were fighting to get the sexual harassment and all this other stuff gone. So Betty Friedan, I think that's how it's said, wrote this book called Feminine, The Feminine Mystique. It helped women realize that they weren't alone in these problems and all the troubled times that they had. And her book was pretty popular for that time. And in the 1980s, the third wave was brought up, and it's pretty much that entire thing you see all around that's like, this is what feminism looks like, and you've seen Obama wearing the shirt, a lot of celebrities, just everyone, pretty much equal rights for women, equal pay for women, just the way that women are treated, sexual trafficking, sexual harassment, sexual violence. Um, they wanted rights, and to this day, it still goes on, and yeah, so that's um, women's rights, and they just, yeah, <laughs> alright.